And good evening, Cherie. Right now, a socially distanced vigil is getting underway here on the lawn at the University of Dayton. You can see there is a photo of Michael Curran next to a candle. Musicians were just singing hymns. People want to honor and remember Curran, but they also want to know exactly what happened Sunday morning. Michael Curran being remembered tonight throughout the University of Dayton. Seniors who live here say they met Curran this year, and even though he was younger, he left an impression. She was at her house about two weeks ago and just hanging out with him on her porch, and, you know, he just had nothing bad to say. He was just the nicest guy and was always asking about, you know, other people and how, how they were doing. Even off campus, near where Curran was found injured, people's thoughts are with the Curran family. Figured I'd do nice, something nice and put something out for him, like a little memorial, so his family and his friends seen something other than the blue marks on the ground when they came by. Those who knew Curran find the circumstances of his death hard to believe. Early Sunday morning, Curran ordered food at Cousin Vinny's Pizzeria, which is half a mile from his dorm at Marycrest Hall, if you take the shortest route. He left on foot, but never made it. At some point on his way to the pizza place, Dayton police say Curran accepted a ride from a driver of a pickup truck and sat in the bed of the truck. He must not have been far from campus at that time because the distance between his dorm and where he was found is 1.2 miles. Police say he fell out about a mile into that ride, which is in the opposite direction of Cousin Vinny's. So where was that truck headed? Who was in the truck? Did Kerr know the people? Why did they leave? And how did he fall out? Those are all questions police have yet to answer. And back here live at the University of Dayton, staff and students have gathered in prayer as they remember Michael Curran. I should mention Dayton police tell us they have identified those people who were in the truck Sunday morning and investigations and interviews with those people are ongoing. Reporting live at UD, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.